Okay, now we have come to video number 3. Yang video number 1 and 2 tu, for all the sangkut-sangkut things, uh, I truly apologize. Okay, let's continue with this one. We stop at the initial margin just now. So now, let's take a look at the basic function of derivatives. Okay, so derivative ni normally can be used to serve to uh, many purposes, but our focus will be on two purposes. The first one would be derivative can be used to hedge a position. Uh, to hedge position him to secure your position uh, against the car uh, the currency exchange risk. Okay, all right. For example, you are multinational corporation. You are importer or maybe you are exporter. If you are importer, you are afraid by the time you want to uh, pay the your exporter, your currency value depreciate. So you have to pay more to them. So what you can do, you can enter forward contract. So in order to hedge your position, normally forward contract will uh, be used for this purpose. Okay, MNCs or businesses use forward contract to hedge themselves against the depreciation or appreciation of currency that will affect their company's profit, a uh, profit, like that, profit or losses. Okay, uh, so that one we have learned before. Either you are exporter or importer. Okay, so that is the first purpose uh, of uh, derivative contract. The second one. Okay, to speculate on the directional movement of an underlying asset. You either will sell ataupun take short position or you will either buy or take long position in the futures market. Kat sini, actually, you want to trade futures contract itself in order to make profit. Speculators use this derivative to make profit based on the movement of the currency. Speculators ni anak-anak normally are not MNC ke, businesses ke, corporation ke. They are merely people who want to make profit by trading the futures contract. Ha, faham tak maksud saya? Kalau kat sini, who are you? You are the hedges. You want to protect your business. You want to protect your trading. Either you are buy importer ataupun you are exporter. You are buyer of good or services or you are seller of good or services. But in this case, alright, the those people who do speculation or try to speculate are those people who do not have any position uh, as importer ataupun exporter. Apa yang dia orang cuba buat? They try to make profit by trading in the futures contract. Dia orang jual dan beli futures contract in order to make profit. Uh, based on their expectation on the movement of the current currency. Kenapa? Sebab currency ini turun naik dia akan mempengaruhi the futures contract prices. Uh, so, kena differentiate eh. Who are you actually? Are you the MNC or the businesses or corporation? Alright who can be the exporter or importer takut nanti company's profit jatuh ke uh, naik ke rugi ke apa or you are speculators who try to make profit by trading you trade futures con contract uh, so there is a difference so ingat eh if you are hedges if you want to hedge your position normally you will use forward contract but if you want to make profit based on the movement of the prices of the currency you will uh, you will use futures contract. Okay? Uh, itu beza dia. So, speculators alright, normally will try to make profit by buying or by selling the futures contract itself. Uh, they want jual beli contract. Do you still remember in our first video, I told you about the definition of futures uh, contract uh, of derivative. Derivative is a financial con financial securities which is also represent a contract. However, stantiknya contract tu adalah the contract <coughs> the contract can be traded for you to make profit. So, that is why features contract seldomly reach the expiring date compared to forward contract. Uh, dia jarang sampai tarikh matang. Why? Sebab kita bukannya aim to buy or to sell currency. We aim to sell the futures contract or to buy the futures contract itself to make profit. Uh, jadi tak perlu tunggu tarikh matang. Sometimes we have already settled or close our uh, trading of the futures contract. And once the targeted profit or loss has been hit, kita dah capai 
Kita dah achieve kita punya target profit ataupun kita dah letak dah. Kalau loss banyak ni yang kita mampu kita rugi, the speculator will close out or settle the contract. Okay, I hope you understand eh. So, forward contract normally used by MNC in order to hedge the position. You orang takut nanti by the time nak kena bayar or by the time they will receive the money. The amount of money will be so high or maybe the revenue will be low. But in the case of futures contract, alright, you enter futures contract, you buy or sell futures contract to make profit from the trading of futures contract itself. Ha, bukannya you ada kepentingan as MNC, as importer, as exporter, no. Alright, you are speculators who want to make profit again in the futures contract by trading the futures contract. Remember that. Okay, and then when you trade in the futures uh, market or in the futures contract, your position will be marked to market. Uh, okay, what does it mean? Okay, marking to market refers to the daily settling of gain and losses due to the changes in the market value of the security. Your punya position will be Mark on daily basis Okay Walaupun you tak close out You tak settle lagi You punya urus niaga uh, Your floating profit or loss Will be calculated on daily basis uh, That is how uh, Your profit or loss Will be tracked Okay The traders floating profit or loss Will be determined or kept on track By the system on daily basis However The floating Okay untung rugi atas angin tu Sistem akan track will be realized, akan jadi betul-betul rugi atau untung once the trader settle his position. Okay? Uh, Alright. However, if the loss incurred reduce the current margin below the maintenance margin. Uh, macam saya cakap tadi, kalau lah tiba-tiba berlaku rugi and your margin now has gone below the maintenance margin, maintenance margin you will get a margin call where The trader need, uh, are, is required to put additional capital to reach back the initial margin if he wishes to continue the trading. Uh, okay, so in order for us to understand deeper, we need to do a few exercises. The exercise I think we better do in video number 4. See you in video number 4.